Hi, I'm meteorologist Mark Collins, and I'm talking about a story that I posted on newsforjax.com that links to some amazing photographs of Hurricane Ian's destructive power. It shows both the before and after aerial images that were taken by NOAA when they were flying above with the camera, and then they stitched all these pictures together into a mosaic, similar to what you would see on Google Earth, and you can view these pictures. What I did here is I stitched together just two separate photos so you you can see the way the look the, uh, the way the Sanibel Causeway looked after the storm versus before and you can see how the causeway was breached by the water there were points of failure there along the bridge and th that is definitely one of the most hallmark uh, signatures that we've seen in all the media reports of the damage but when you go in and zoom up and down on the coast here's Fort Myers Beach and you can see the marina here look at all those boats just crammed together you can see how uh, uh, some of the high and dry stacks in that marina. The roof was ripped off of that. And then you go down to what it looked like before and you can see how the docks were very perpendicular. Look at the size of those yachts. So let me go back. You see that one yacht in the corner lifted above those other boats and just shoved off towards the mangroves there. We are talking about boats that look like they're well over 70 feet in length. And then as you go out towards the pier, here you can see the pier doesn't exist any longer. You can see how a lot of the buildings right there along the coastline look very different than before, where you can see the pier structure and many of those uh, buildings intact before the hurricane. Let's take you out towards Sanibel Island. Here you can see a condo complex with the brown roofs in the lower left corner of your screen. And you can see that the beach is nice and smooth on the lower right. Now watch the ruts that were caused along the beach there on the bottom right. And you can see how the roofs of those condos were significantly damaged. But it is interesting in the bottom left side, you can see the silver uh, aluminum roofs, which are probably more recent. They don't look like they appear to have much damage compared to those older structures. And then further out onto the island, you can see the roads here, Trade Winds Drive. Notice before the storm how intact and dry they were. And then here you can see all the brown water, the flooding days after the storm passed. Those streets were still impassable there on Sanibel Island. This is pretty impressive. You can see the tennis court there in the middle of the screen and then look below you see those little squares of white those are actually mobile home roofs and after Ian you can see how the tennis court actually fared fairly well but notice how those mobile homes are completely decimated and over on the right side of your screen here you can see all of the debris out in the mangroves from that mobile home park that was bush pushed across the inlet out into the uh, across the inlet into the mangroves. Just amazing destructive powers. And finally, this is in North Captiva Island. This is a landing strip for a private airport. And here you can see how the storm surge pushed all that water into the uh, landing strip. And so no one's going to be using that airport anytime soon. You can go to newsforjax.com and there you can see the links to that website and you can peruse at your leisure those images.